Vacumax is an American manufacturer of industrial equipment for the powder handling industry. We started in 1954 uh, with the, uh, like all good companies, uh, a solution to a problem. The problem was in the textile mills of uh, North Jersey, where there were safety problems and productivity problems uh, with the old technology uh, with lint and, and textile products floating around the factory. But the problem was that they needed a way to effectively and safely clean that machinery. It is a family business. Our founder was Frank Pendleton. Uh, he was the one who recognized the problem in the textile industry and he got together with an inventor named Dr. Lucien and they developed the prototype, which is here in front of me, uh, the world's first air-powered vacuum cleaner. It was successful in the textile industry, despite a lot of naysayers who said it wouldn't work, uh, and it has worked. So we're our second generation and our third generation, uh, Steve Pendleton and Doan Pendleton, are still very active in our, in our business. These are uh, what we would like to refer to as our family tree. Uh, this is our genealogy. This is where Vacumax uh, has come from, our, uh, our prototype product, which is the world's first vacuum cleaner that operates on compressed air. And we have, uh, from that day of vacuuming textile materials, we've come today, 65 years later, uh, having tested 10,000 different materials uh, in all types of industries. Yeah, the fun part of our business is that we are involved in so many different industries that they each pose different problems. Uh, in some industries, like pharmaceutical or cosmetic, the powder uh, particle sizes are so small that you can, can't even feel them between your fingertips. And in other industries, the material is highly abrasive or as in one of our new industries, the 3D printing or additive manufacturing industry, the materials are super heavy, uh, 250, 300 pounds a cubic foot. First thing we do is, is draw on experience. We uh, consider similar materials that we may have handled in the past or for other similar customers. Then we uh, generate proposals and we uh, want to test material. We have a 6,000 square foot test lab and we encourage customers to send us their material uh, and even to witness testing going on so that we can prove our, our experience out, and give them something that will definitely work. Manufacturing in America is, uh, is, is a base of our economy. It's a foundation and without manufacturing, uh, Past economies, other countries that have tried to survive on service have not survived. So manufacturing is a critical part of our economy. It provides good living for people. Uh, it uh, allows us to have high quality and uh, we feel like we're doing the right thing. I think from the top down, we're committed to American manufacturing. Uh, there are great products around the world and uh, some of our competitors come from those overseas locations. But it is something that's a deep-seated belief that wherever we can, unless the customer tells us otherwise, we like to buy American steel and American products. Uh, and in the case of government business, you're, you're always looking for U.S. origin products. I think we've developed the reputation that customers come to us with problems. Uh, applications they haven't been able to, to solve for years. And uh, so we've developed a reputation where customers bring things to us. Uh, but we do occasionally recognize new opportunities, something we've learned from one project uh, that we can apply to in a grander scale across an industry. We have 70 employees, roughly. Uh, it's a nice family-sized unit. Everybody knows everybody. And, uh, uh, there's a lot of people like me who have been here for 25 years or more.